Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Scorpio. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the end of June. So, what, the next 10 days, something like that? You know, the 20th to the 30th? So, what do we have for Scorpio for the end of June? What do we have for Scorpio? What do we have for Scorpio? We got a couple. We need, what do we got? We got three. Let's get one more. There it is. Tent. Temp temporary situation. Now, tent is like, what well, says temporary situation, but it could be a temporary home. I don't know. Tent. Let's see what we got here. Leg. Stepping into a new experience. Ladder. Climbing towards success. Light-hearted, carefree time jug. So, looks good, Scorpio. It does look good. You may be in a situation right now that is temporary, but whatever it is, you're climbing towards success. So, congratulations. And you are stepping into a new experience, and I feel it feels like you don't have very much to worry about. So, that's fantastic. So, what do we have for Scorpio? What do we have for Scorpio for the end of June? King of Swords reversed. Could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius, somebody that is a bully. This person may be abusive, mentally abusive. They may, may use blackmail, you know. Somebody may not be telling the truth. The King of, King of Swords in reverse is a manipulator. So there's some sort of manipulation here and abuse of some sort. An abuse of power. Somebody's not be, being honest. Nine of Swords. So you may be feeling overwhelmed. You There could be some... You may be feeling like... Um, you may be having some headaches. Maybe even some migraines. Um, you may uh, be having a hard time sleeping at night. You may be having nightmares. Um... Now this could be an absent father or somebody in your past. Maybe it's an ex that abused you. Now the Nine of Swords is, well in this card, looks like this person is just, will you please stop? Will you please stop? It's like you're hearing all kinds of things in your head. And I don't know if it's paranoia or nightmares, you know? You may be hearing all kinds of things that are causing you some sort of confusion or you're going over something in your head and you just wish it would stop. Hmm. Queen of Wands reverse. You could be dealing with a Leo, Aries, or a Sagittarius as well, but it doesn't have to be. Uh, this is an energy of definitely overpowering, okay? This is um, wanting control, judgment, so judgment. And I just need to clarify this Queen of Wands reverse. We got judgment. There's some sort of uh, end of things. Something is coming to the end. Here is there's the end of a situation. Somebody may be asking for forgiveness from you. I don't know who this person is, and you may be overwhelmed. You may just want this person to shut up. It feels like that's what this is. This is like just shut your mouth. You could be dealing with somebody that is very obnoxious. I feel like you are going to be making a judgment call. You are dealing with a malicious individual that may be blackmailing you. They may be saying things about you. They could be even lying, gossiping about you. 
they're definitely causing you some sort of mental turmoil. You probably just wish they would stop. Now, the Queen of Wands in reversed is somebody that is self-righteous and jealous. So you may have somebody that is jealous of you. And they're, they are revengeful, okay? The, somebody is very revengeful. And I think that you know who this person is. You definitely know who, obviously, you do. Um, now, I think it's over. Something is, oh, somebody may be asking you for a reconciliation or vice versa, you know, because this is another chance. This person uh, may be down in the dumps, okay? And they need an ego boost. So there's some sort of mental abuse here. So you might want to be careful from whoever this person is, okay? Uh, to make sure you don't repeat the same mistakes, okay? Somebody may want to revive a situation with you. Remember, we got all these retrogrades at the end of this month. So my advice is to be damn careful. You may be dealing with a person that has low self-esteem and low self-confidence and they need you to boost their ego. Now, this person may be pitiful, you know. They may ask for pity. Poor, poor, oh, I'm having headaches, you know, and that kind of, and that's a form of blackmail. You know, they may, they may say, you know, my health is declining. I need your help. That's another form of emotional blackmail. And that's what I feel like we have here. I think you need to look at whoever this person is with both eyes open, okay? Um, you're going to be making a decision because judgment is some sort of decision. Um, oh, Ace of Cups reversed. So the Ace of Cups reversed is a lack of emotional content and emotional blockage and shutting down. Shutting down feelings, shutting down emotions. The truth is, whoever this person is that is around you is not emotionally available. Okay? They're not. They're not. They may not really love you, you know, because this is a lack of love. Okay? It is. And you may know it. Okay, because this is the ju judgment is awareness. Okay, this is an awakening. It's an epiphany. Okay, somebody may be getting, you know, this is an a wake up call. Okay, so we may have somebody over here that, you know, thinks that they, this is a self righteous individual. They can, they can treat you however they want to treat you because you'll always be there, right? You've always taken them back in the past. That's what I feel this is. You, you, you. Know, Make sure that you are wide awake, okay? Make sure that you are wide awake. It feels like you have an individual that needs your pity, okay? And I think that, you know, uh, this is a wake-up call, an epiphany that this is not love, whatever it is. Knight of Wands reversed. So, this is out of control. Knight of Wands reverse is moving too fast, out of control, rushing. Three, get prepared. Scorpio, you need to get prepared for somebody that is impulsive. This person wants, this person is impulsive. This person is. Uh, controlling this person is overly competitive very forceful um, has a chip on their shoulder really doesn't want responsibility doesn't want to be held accountable for their actions this person um, boasts a lot whoever so this person is coming in they want a reconciliation with you or they want forgiveness from you or something like that but with this Ace of Cups reversed, now it doesn't have to be a lover. This could be a child. It could be a friend. I don't know who it is. This person is, or this, it's not really a friend. Whoever this person is, they um, are hoping that they will be accepted. They're hoping that they'll be forgiven. But I think that they've done some, they made some bad judgments in the past. And they've acted recklessly in the past. And... 
I feel like they've caused you a lot of anxiety. At the, in the, and they have. They've caused you anxiety. They've caused you depression. They've made. They've brought you headaches. They've caused you to have headaches. They've been nothing but a headache to you in the past. Be really damn careful about giving this person another chance because it feels like this person has been watching you. They've been watching you, stalking you perhaps, you notice the telescope, they've been watching you intently um, and I feel like they are hoping for another chance with you just because their self-esteem and their self-confidence needs a boost. So my advice is to be careful, okay? Um, Queen of Swords. Now be assertive. This is about be assertive. This per this is uh, use your mind, use your head, use your head. Um, three of cups. Now this is socializing, having fun, drinking, happiness, a reunion, reunion here, reunion here. Somebody wants a reunion with you. Whoever this person is that wants a reunion with you, they are hard to love, okay? I'm sorry to say that, but that's the truth. This person is um, very hard to deal with. Revengeful as well. I think that you should not give this person your energy. I don't think you should. I think that you should tell them no. Four of Swords reverse. This is a dead end. This, this is this we have an we have an individual and, and this is slow down. If if this person really had good intentions for you they wouldn't want to move so fast. Slowing down is needed here. Somebody needs to slow down. This is moving too fast and this is slow down. Whoever you're dealing with, perhaps you need to tell them to slow down or you need to slow down. There is a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius here as well. So we have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. That's what I see most prominently. And I feel as though you have, you're going to have to make a choice as to whether you want to let this person <laughs> bring these headaches back into your life because they will bring their headaches right back with them. Okay, the headaches that they caused you in the past, they're going to, nothing has changed, just so you know. This person, um, whoever this person is that wants you, they're looking for you to give them a hand. They need you to help them in some way. That's all this is. Whoever this person is needs, needs you to take care of them in some way. That's what I see. They are fed up. They're exhausted. They're, they don't have the means to take care of themselves and they need somebody to take care of them. So I, 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 you know, I feel like you are dealing with an individual that is lazy, very, very lazy. This person lacks the ambition. They lack drive. Okay, they are probably saying things that, or they're saying anything, anything to get you to give them another chance. And you're going to need to think about it. This is about thinking about it. Investment. Whether you want to invest in this or not. So at the end of June, you are going to be presented with something from... I think it's an X, okay? I do. I think it's an X. I think it's an X or it's somebody that you lived with. I think feel like you lived with this person in the past. I think that this person in the past is is going to... Uh, try to reunite with you. 
They do not have intentions. It's not it's not for the right reasons, okay? The reason is is because they want need somebody to to help them get on their feet. I think this is a dead end and my advice is for you to keep going in the direction that you're going. Do you're climbing the ladder? I said you I said I see that you are you know, probably in a new experience. That's what I feel like this is. I feel like you're in a new experience and you have somebody from the past that has been watching you. They have been watching your every move and I feel like they they, they want you to uh, come back and take care of them. This may be somebody who can't get out of bed. This person is sick all the time. You know, they, they need somebody to come take care of them, to wait on them. So anyhow, what else do we have for Scorpio at the end of the month? You know, I think it's time for you to uh, really continue. Oh boy, just fell out. Go someplace else. This is, this is a false foundation, okay? This is a false sense of security. Okay, the light will be shed on whatever this situation is. This is this is a breakdown. There could you there e either you or somebody that you are dealing with has some extreme health problems. Okay, they do, they do, and I feel like uh, they are experiencing chaos and upheaval in their life, and now they're looking for you to help build them a foundation because theirs has crumbled. They may be getting kicked out. Okay, maybe they're getting kicked out of where they're living and now they're scrambling, you know. They want to bring their headaches onto you. And they're going to pass their headaches onto you. This person is is verbally mentally abusive. Okay? They don't have good intentions. Um this is somebody that is is uh very cold and they're lacking integrity. Okay? They are. So I feel like you need to um, or you're going to or they are. This is a universal change. So it's the universe. This is a universe card that is causing some sort of chaos. This is this this comes in as a shock and I think that maybe you will be shocked. You may be shocked when this person contacts you if they haven't contacted you already. This person is already watching you. Okay, they've been watching you. Your every move. This is a disturbance. That's all it is. All of a sudden, this is all of a sudden, all of a sudden something happens that shakes up the foundation that you are in right now. And I think it has to do with an X. Whether it's your ex or the person you're with has an ex, there is an ex. There's an ex here. I know there is. There's an ex here. There's an ex here that is coming in to shake up your situation. Seriously. And you're going to have to make a judgment call. Do you want to invest in this person who uh, totally disturbed your peace? Your peace of mind? Just because, you know, they speak really well. This person may be a, some sort of professional speaker. This person speaks very, very well. Anyway, Scorpio, I feel as though you are going to be presented with some sort of opportunity that is totally false. This person is not uh, being real with you. 
I feel like they're they're looking for you to take care of them and you need to be very very careful this is somebody from your past I feel like it is an ex they want to reunite they want a reunion because they can't take care of themselves good luck